Hello friends, this video on Integers part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now in a similar way, let us quickly look at subtraction of integers. So in this case also, the first scenario that we would consider is positive integer and positive integer. So let us say you have one integer as 6 and the other integer is 3. So 6 minus 3. So you perform subtraction between two positive integers, 6 and 3. So how would this look like on the number line? So let us say this is the number line. This is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And this side you have minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 and so on. So where is 6? This is where you have 6 and you have to subtract a positive number from an integer. Now when you subtract a positive number, subtracting a positive thing from your life, is that the right thing to do? No, that is not the right thing. So we will move towards left. So from 6, we will make 3 jumps towards left. 1, 2, 3. So where did we reach? We reach at 3. So therefore 6 minus 3 is equal to 3. Perfect. Now let us consider the vice versa scenario. What would be 3 minus 6? Here also you have two positive integers and you perform subtraction between them. So in this case we are subtracting 6 from 3. So we will start these jumps from 3. So this is 3 and from 3 we will make 6 jumps towards the left. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So where have we reached? We have reached at minus 3. So what do we observe? We observe that if we are subtracting two positive integers, sometimes the result is positive, sometimes the result is negative. So how will we know what would be the result? So for that you remember this step. To subtract two integers, two positive integers, always find their difference and then put the sign of the bigger number. Now you might think that here both the integers are positive. So how does it matter which, I mean, which is bigger, which is smaller? Now understand one thing. When you say 6 minus 3, this actually means 6 plus minus 3. So this is the meaning. 6 minus 3 actually means you are adding minus 3 to 6. Similarly, when you say 3 minus 6, this actually means 3 plus minus 6. Because looking at the number line also, you would have seen that we are doing the same thing. So subtraction of two positive integers is basically the same thing as addition of one positive and one negative integer. And that is why we are going to follow the same tip. Find the difference, put the sign of the bigger number. So in, in the first case, the bigger number has a positive sign. So the result was positive. In the second case, the bigger number has a negative sign and therefore the result is negative. Now let us look at subtraction of positive integer and negative integer where you have one positive integer and one negative integer. So in this case let us take a few examples. So we consider a positive integer 3 minus a negative integer minus 6. So we have to find out the difference. Let's consider another example where we say minus 6 minus a positive integer 3. This is equal to what? We again consider a third example where we say minus 3 minus 6 is equal to what? So we basically have 3 and 6. Somewhere 3 is positive, somewhere 6 is positive. So that's how we have changed their orders. Now let's say we will have to find out the difference of these sets. So how do we find the difference? Now obviously we can take help of the number line. So that is one thing. But the question is... What would be our tip in these cases? Let's say here 7, 8, 9. This side also let us draw till 7, 8, 9. So the tip that we need to remember in this case is 
add the additive inverse of number to be subtracted. Now, this might sound complex, but it is pretty simple. Now, whenever we subtract a number, subtracting a number always means adding its additive inverse. What is additive inverse? For example, if you have a number 3, additive inverse of 3 is minus 3. Additive inverse of 5 is minus 5. Additive inverse of minus 5 is 5. So basically, additive inverse of a number is the same number with opposite sign. So if the number was negative, it added, added, its additive inverse will be positive. If the number was positive, its additive inverse will be negative. So basically, additive inverse means it is that number which when added to the given number gives you 0. For example, for minus 5, if you add plus 5 to it, you'll get 0. For plus 5, if you add minus 5 to it, you'll get 0. For 3, if you add minus 3 to it, you'll get 0. So additive inverse is always the same number with opposite sign. That is additive inverse. Now let us say, if we say 5 minus 1. So 5 minus 1 basically means subtracting 1 from 5 means the same thing as adding the additive inverse of 1. And what is the additive inverse of 1? Minus 1. So 5 minus 1 is the same thing as 5 plus minus 1. So this is something, this is a concept that you need to remember. Right? Now in this case, the first scenario, let us consider. Here we say 3 minus minus 6. Now subtracting minus 6 from 3 would be the same as adding the additive inverse of minus 6. What would be the additive inverse of minus 6? It would be 6. So 3 minus minus 6 would be equal to 3 plus 6, which is equal to 9. So, so this is the tip using which we can very quickly subtract a positive integer and a negative integer. Now, if you want to verify this, let us look at the number line. So 3, where do we have 3? This is 3. And from 3, we are subtracting a negative number. So subtracting negative things from your life is the right thing to do. So we will move towards the right. So how many jumps towards right? 6 jumps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Sorry, 5 and 6. So we have reached at 9. So from the number line also, we see that the result is 9. Let us look at the second example, minus 6 minus 3. So this can be written as minus 6 plus minus 3, right? So subtracting 3 from minus 6 is the same as adding additive inverse of 3 to minus 6, right? Now minus 6 plus minus 3, what we have learned in the previous slide, whenever you add two negative integers, what you do? You find their sum, which is 9, and then put a negative sign. So that is how you add them. Now if this also you can prove or verify using the number line. So where is minus 6? So minus 6 is here and from minus 6 you are subtracting 3. That is you are subtracting a positive number. Subtracting a positive number means you will move towards the left. So 3 jumps towards left and you reach at minus 9. So the result is minus 9. Let us look at the third example, minus 3 minus 6. So minus 3 minus 6 is same as minus 3 plus minus 6. And this would again be equal to, again you are adding two negative integers. So find their sum, put a negative sign. So in this fashion, you can look at the subtraction of integers, whether it is positive positive integer or it is a positive negative integer. Now, what about negative integer with negative integer? Now, let us say if you have an example like. So let us take examples of two negative integers in this case. Let's say minus 3 minus minus 6. So minus 3 and minus 6 are two negative integers. Now we want to subtract the two. So let's make use of the number line. So where is minus 3? This is minus 3. We are trying to subtract a negative number. So that means that's the right thing to do. So we will move towards the right. How many jumps? 6 jumps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So where have we reached? We have reached at plus 3. So basically minus 3 minus minus 6 is nothing but plus 3. Similarly, let's take another example. Minus 6 minus minus 3. 
So in this case, what would be the result? So where is minus 6? Minus 6 is here. So again, here also, what are we doing? We are subtracting negative things. So which in turn is the right thing to do? So we will move towards right. 3 jumps towards right and we reach at minus 3. Therefore, the result in this case would be minus 3. Now, what would be the tip in this case? So this is how we have solved it using number line. So what would be that small tip to solve these quickly? We have to add the additive inverse of number to be subtracted. So the same thing. Now, mostly for subtraction, what you do is you take, find out the additive inverse of the number which is subtracted and then you add that additive inverse. So in this case also, minus 3 minus minus 6 this can be very well written as minus 3 plus additive inverse of minus 6 would be 6. So this is basically minus 3 plus 6. So when you add one negative integer and positive integer, what you do? You find their difference which is 3 and put the sign of the bigger number. So this bigger number is 6, it has a positive sign. So the result will also have a positive sign. In this case also minus 6 plus Additive inverse of minus 3 would be plus 3. So in this case also the same thing difference between the two is 3 but the bigger number here is 6. So this would have a minus sign. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.